Hey everybody, Umar here for Architecture Daily Sketches. October is over and it is November at this hour, so it is time to announce the winners of last month's challenge. Thank you so much again to everybody who submitted an entry and don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please do check out the hashtag, hashtag themodmin underscore OCT to look at all the other amazing entries and to show them some love. So I will start as usual with the honorable mentions and in no particular order. The first honorable mention goes to Rashmi Padke, and you can follow her on Instagram. This drawing communicates the form of the building very well, with very believable perspective, and the shadow is really good as well. Very convincing and quite successful at communicating the 3D facets of the building, like the brisole here. If I can just comment on one thing, is that the coloring using the markers is not bad, but it is a bit harsh. I would recommend picking maybe softer tones and maybe blending it with the different tones or colors using a blending marker. But overall, good job, congratulations, and well done. The next honorable mention goes to Omnia Muhammad, and you can follow her on Instagram. Now, this is a very lovely watercolor drawing. Your blending of the soft gradual transition of colors make this a very peaceful looking drawing, and the drawing form is also really quite good. So really good job, congratulations, and well done. The next honorable mention goes to Leo Alcade, and you can follow him on Instagram. Now this is a really good sketch. Great chosen view. Aside from capturing the captivating form of the main building, you're also showing the myriad of textures present in this building with all the detail work on the brick, the stone, the concrete, and the results are quite stunning. So congratulations and well done. The next honorable mention goes to Aush Nastia, and you can follow her on Instagram. Now this is pretty cool, aside from being visual, it's also quite informational with all these little diagrams and write-ups. I really appreciate that. Now if you don't mind me commenting, this part here however, with the color is very overpowering and throwing the whole drawing off balance, I feel. I feel like I sort of understand that the colors are kind of inspired by the artworks that are displayed in the building itself, but it does compete visually with, with the drawing of the building and the diagrams next to it. But of course, all of that can be improved and we can see a lot of potential in this, so congratulations and well done. The next honorable mention goes to sketch.underscore.more, and you can follow this person on Instagram. Ah, the power of a deceivingly simple sketch. This is rough and simple, but it is incredibly succinct in what it is communicating visually. Even though it's rough, the perspective is still very accurate, and the use of simple gestures and strokes to visualize the different textures and forms and spaces make this a successful drawing in my opinion. Also, I really like the plan drawn out here with the wiggly lines that I think represent people's movements through the building. It's a pragmatic image, but the way that it's drawn stylistically looks like one of the abstract paintings in the building's collection, and I thought that was really cool. So very clever, congratulations and well done. And the next honorable mention goes to Gaurav underscore 410, and you can follow this person on Instagram. Now this is quite an interesting entry, and I can see that the building is quite small in the middle there, and you are kind of taking a risk, and I really appreciate that. I feel you are focusing on the artistic references that the architect might have, might have had when designing the building. It's all quite interesting, and all the references that you drew out are actually very well drawn out, like these sculptures, or the landscape, and even the scene of the architect itself. So I quite like this, and I appreciate you taking the risk with this drawing, so congratulations and well done for this. And the final honorable mention goes to edge.arc, and you can follow him on Instagram. Now I thought to end the honorable mentions with this entry because of how novel it is to me. He submitted an animated entry, which I hope you can see playing on the screen right now, and it is depicting, according to his post, a blues music piece that was improvised at the foundation mark based on one of Miro's paintings. So his entry is not just commemorating the building, but it is also commemorating an event that happened there, and I love his interpretation of it with these abstract symbols in the sky and changing colors. Before I forget, the drawing of the building itself is also really good, which is the point of the challenge anyways. So love a beautifully made, creative entry, so congratulations and well done. And so on to the winner of the challenge, and the winner is... Cesar.h underscore 10, and you can follow him on Instagram. 
he presented us with two presentation boards, it seemed, signature style and colors for him, and this clearly stands out for this month due to how meticulous everything is. Everything has been well thought out, was composed together really, really well, and relates to one another. Here you can see that these views are perspectives that are marked out in these aerial perspectives. So the quality of your line work is also incredibly consistent throughout and reads really well as an architectural sketch. And we can all tell that a lot of effort was put into this. So congratulations and well done. And that's it. To the winner, we will be in contact with you shortly to arrange for delivery of your prize. Congratulations and thank you again to all that participated and submitted entries. And now on to the next challenge. For the November challenge, we are requesting that you guys draw this building. The Rolex Learning Center by the Architects of Sana'a. The Rolex Learning Center, or the EPFL Learning Center, is the campus hub and library for the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, or EPFL, in Lausanne, Switzerland. Designed by the architects of Sana'a, Kazuyo Sejima and Ryu Nishizawa, it opened on the 22nd of February in 2010. Now this building, in my opinion, is quite epic for our times in its quite revolutionary approach to spatial dynamics as well as its treatment of topology. This building transcends typology, or rather, it blurs it all together because everything is open and connected. Corridors, meeting rooms, amphitheaters, all melt into a kind of a Junji Ito-esque horoscape that melt into the gentle slopes of the interior with occasional openings into sunlit courtyards and this makes for an incredibly highly collaborative environment for both researchers and students as the unusual building echoes the ethos of groundbreaking research. Having to shatter norms in our increasingly technologically advanced, complex, unstable, changing, brave new world. And this required new construction methods as well, pushing boundaries in construction and engineering as sure as it is going to push its inhabitants into our brave new world. On a final note, there is that immature part of me that also goes, haha, it's a slice of Swiss cheese in Switzerland. With that said, you guys are free to choose whatever view of the Rolex Learning Center, be it exterior or interior, and to draw in any medium of your choice. Just be creative and have fun. So for this month, we have a great prize kit for one person that we put together from Alvin. Do check them out and their great products in the links provided in the description below. So the prizes are... One set of Dramatic Mechanical Pencils. One set of Tech Liner Drawing Pens. One set of Promatic Lead Holder with refills, 2B. An Aluminium Pencil Lengthener. An Erasing Shield. And a pack of Sandpaper Pointer Pads. Now, in order for you guys to submit your drawings, please include this full sentence. My submission for at arch underscore more sketching challenge hashtag the modman underscore n o v. It's very important that you guys include this whole sentence so that we can find your entry. You can submit your drawing on any social media platform like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook as long as you include this sentence. Now please note that your account status has to be public in order for us to see your entry. You can submit through a secondary public account and that's fine, we will just be mentioning the account that you submitted with. For further clarification, we've included the submission method in the description below. So good luck to everybody, we'll be looking forward to all the submissions. To watch more videos, click on one of the boxes right here. If you're not subscribed yet, Click over here. Thanks for watching.